Hi there. I'm feeling a bit down. Look how white my teeth come out on this camera. It's very nice. It's very nice. Uh, so uh, I just feel like making a video because I've been getting these nice comments lately uh, on my channel. So I thought I'd do a little video. Um, and I'm just going to just jump into it because I don't want to. I just feel like talking really. So at the moment I'm in a really bad place because um, I just got back from Spain and my brain can't comprehend the differences between you know having a nice relaxing time and then suddenly coming back into this environment of you know lots of things to do, back to life, life struggles and things and it's really difficult for my head to get around that concept and get back into the norm um, and it's really affecting me quite badly. Um, and of course it makes me very depressed thinking on those sort of things, you know, because I just put my, I, I mean, the thing that I like is just to be normal, you know, if I was on drugs I would hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, because I wouldn't be in my own body, you know, I'd be, I'd be all weird and strange, and I, what I like is just to be me, you know, just to be G-Mac. Yeah, I like to be just G-Mac. My boyfriend bought me this cap. It says GMAC on it. Uh, and I actually bought a number of hats in Spain. I bought this for my boyfriend because we were in an aquarium and he didn't come with us, so I bought him a pirate hat. Because I thought, oh, wouldn't it be great to have a nice picture with him in a pirate hat? Yeah, so Spain was alright. Uh, Malaga. Uh, lots of things to drive you nuts, of course. People smoking. I mean, it's the land of people smoking. I mean, the first thing I saw when I came out of the airport was smokers. They're absolutely everywhere and everybody does it. And they smoke and they smoke and they smoke until their lungs are just totally fucked. You know, and they just, you'd think that they'd all be dead because they smoke so much. But they smoke and they smoke and they smoke and they smoke and they smoke. And, they smoke. Uh, and that drives me absolutely nuts because all this poisonous air everywhere. You know, you know, you, you know, you're sitting on your sunbed, you're trying to relax. <sighs> everywhere. I'm in a kind of nutty mood. I mean, this is it. This is it. You know, I, there's something wrong with me because I don't feel myself. I feel like, you know, there's something wrong because I'm not myself. I, I'm f acting crazy. I don't, I don't know if it's something to do with alcohol. It might be something to do with alcohol because, you know, when we were on holiday, it was all inclusive. So we had alcohol literally all day, uh, you know, and then, uh, and then suddenly no alcohol. So maybe that's something to do with it. But yes, that was crazy. You know, we just spent the time drinking all the time and drinking all the way through the evening. Drink, drink, drink. Um, so that's kind of mad, isn't it? To think that that's what your day is. But it was good relaxing time. Uh, I didn't think about work too much, so that was really good. Of course, one of the things that's going to annoy me when I'm uh, on holiday is the fact that uh, it's not English and it's Spanish or French or whatever. Uh, but it gets on your nerves after a while because you just think, oh, please, please understand what I'm trying to get across to you. I mean, I learnt some of the lingo, you know, gracias and, and uh, hola. Uh, but the flight home was dreadful. I mean, I'm going to need spinal back surgery. We we're on EasyJet. I mean, my boyfriend just don't go anywhere else. It's just EasyJet, EasyJet, EasyJet. Uh, but, uh, yeah, my back was really oh, fucked after that. You know, because I was squashed into the sort of last seat uh, by the window. And we were by the exit, the emergency exit. But, uh, yeah, so I was really squashed up into this uh, corner, and my back, uh, by the end, it was, it was a very short flight, and my back was just fucked. And then we, we got to the airport, and you had that horrible procedures, all these bits and blah. But you have, you have like 50 steps, you know, from leaving your hotel in Malaga to getting back home here. There's so many steps. You know, you've got to do passport control, you've got to do check-in, and you've got to do your security, and then you've got to uh, get on the plane and wait for the plane, all this waiting. I mean, I'm an incredibly impatient person, so, you know, waiting, 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 it's so infuriating. And then, and then you've got, and then you get back into uh, Gatwick, and then it's, you've got to do your baggage, and then you've got to, and then you've got to get on, a ta get on a train, and then you've got to get a taxi, and then you've got to do this, and this, and this. And we got on the uh, train, and we got like one stop away and I had a headache, I had my, my stomach was a bit dodgy and my back was killing me, my shoulders were bad and, I, and then the guy says, oh, we are waiting now, we're just waiting uh, 20 minutes because we have to uh, wait for the driver to come in via taxi uh, 
and uh, he's going to come and do this one stop for us. Hmm. We're just waiting there for 20 minutes. We want to get home. I want to see my cat. And it was just, oh! And then we got on the taxi, and there was a big fight for the taxi. This woman was like, oh, this is my taxi, bitch! I hope, I hope my, my, my head's getting better, because um, I, I think the thing to do is just keep busy. I mean, I've been trying to get back into my drawing, um, and I've got work tomorrow, so that'll be good. That'll keep my mind occupied. Although, the, going back to work is stressful, because, you know, it's been two weeks, and I'm bound to have forgotten lots of bits and bobs, and you don't, you don't know what's changed in those two weeks. I mean, you'd think that nothing had changed, but there lots, lots of things could have changed. You know, there could have been new little implements put in, and new little changes in the way things work. So that's uh, going to be a bit stressful, but you know, I, I'm looking forward to going back because I think that's where I belong. But the most frustrating thing about coming back uh, to the UK and everything is that I cannot, for the life of me, think of a, a plot for this figure adventure which I'm planning. I mean, it's been, you know, so much money has gone into it that it has to work. You know, I mean, I've bought lots of exotic figures which no one's seen before and uh, it's got the Cybermen in it. I just can't think of a plot. I mean, every time I try and write a script, it doesn't work, and that makes me depressed because I think I just can't get it. Um, so, but hopefully I'm getting better. I really hope I am, because I don't like being like this. Um, I prefer just to be back to normal and just get through life as it is, you know. I think one of the damning things about coming back from a holiday is that there's no longer anything to look forward to simply because you know you spend all that time getting excited five days four days three days to go and getting all excited about time to go to work for two weeks and you get all excited and you wait and you build up and everything and then you have it you have your holiday and then there's nothing to look forward to there's nothing to look forward to now and i think that's the most damning part and that's the part that i can't quite get over and uh it's just back to work, back to earning money, back to doing everything, and there's no, there's no thing at the end to look forward to. I think the next exciting thing is going to be Halloween. But hopefully I'll get better, and I really do appreciate all these comments, because they are sweet and lovely, about chest hair, chest hair.